Today I'm here with the director of the Big Bang Theory, Mark Sandrowski. Welcome, Mark. Hi, thank how, you. How does it feel to be back on campus? A <laughs> little cold. Um, I, when I left LA yesterday, it was 90 degrees and uh, single digits here tonight, I think. <laughs> it's a, a little different, but it's great to be back. Mm -hmm. I've, uh, uh, I've been fortunate enough to come back in the last seven, eight years and uh, be able to teach some classes and do some lectures and stuff. And it's, it's, I always look forward to it and always have a blast when I do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is a lot of fun. Yeah. So, how did you get your start in TV? Uh, the way I got started was I majored in film and television when I was here at the University of Michigan. I knew I wanted to do something like that as opposed to going to business school or law school or anything like that. Um, I knew a bunch of comics that lived in LA and ended up moving out immediately after school. Um, started hanging out at the comedy store and writing jokes for comics and, and being in that world. Eventually, uh, I always, though, wanted to be in production. That was my goal, not to be a performer, but be behind the scenes. And started working as a PA, production assistant, on shows and was always involved in sitcoms and, uh, you know, delivered scripts and got lunches and made coffee for people in the morning and mm -hmm. did whatever I could do to be on a show or on the lot. And eventually uh, worked for the right people and um, got into a show as a stage manager, got into the Directors Guild and worked my way up from there as a stage manager, assistant director, and then eventually directing. Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. So then what advice would you have for students that want a career like yours? Well, that's something I talk about when I'm here. It's, it's, not, it's not easy to break into. Um, uh, it's, it's gotten very popular, especially in the last 20 years. The main thing is to do whatever you can to get your foot in the door. Um, unlike a law school or a business school, you're not going to interview mm -hmm. and be hired as at a certain level for a certain company. And depending on your resume or if you went to grad school, you're starting over again. Doesn't matter how much experience you have from school. When you get out to LA, if you're trying to work on a show, they're not looking at your resume going, oh, he did this, she did that. They're like, oh, can you be responsible? Will you be here on time? Can you deliver coffee and get a, a lunch order correctly? <laughs> and eventually, as you get to know people and they get to know you is where you can work your way up the ladder. But it's whatever you can do uh, to get your foot in the door. Whatever job it is, uh, is my best advice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is very good advice. Yeah. So you've worked on a lot of projects. What is your favorite one that you've worked on thus far? Oh, well, that's a tough question. That's a Sophie's <laughs> choice. They're all my babies. <laughs> no. uh, it's kind of hard. Uh, being, with, being involved with the Big Bang for the last nine years mm -hmm. is sort of a dream come true. Um, primarily because whenever I worked as a stage manager, as a PA, whatever it was, shows were constantly being canceled. Um, you know, you work up and then the week before Christmas, they're like, Merry Christmas, the show's off the air and you're out oh. of a job. And that's, a, the con that's just part of, of that life is shows get canceled, you're on to the next thing or projects end and you have to look for that next job. Mm -hmm. And it pushes you to, to be busy and stay out there and, and push yourself. Um, but a show like The Big Bang, knowing you're coming back, knowing it's so well received, knowing it wins awards, is the best. And we still have fun doing it. It's not gotten old. We're not getting sick of each other. Um, we still screw around an awful lot at work uh, just to keep it light and fun because you're doing a comedy. You don't want to make it you know, to be drudgery and to make things uh, boring. Mm -hmm. And so we try to keep it as light as possible. And, and knowing you have a show to go back to is the best thing in the world. So you've celebrated 200 episodes, yeah. which is amazing. Congratulations. Just the other night. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so do you feel any sort of pressure being the director of such a well-received, you know, highly respected and highly watched show? Early, early on, there was a lot of pressure. There's always pressure on a new show. Will it work? Or what you're doing, uh, making it worse? Or is it making it better? Um, is it going to be successful because some of the decisions you've made? There's always that pressure. And it's not always on you. It's a combination of things. It's a full team together. The actors, the writers, directors, producers. You're all part of it. It's like a championship team. You know, it's not just one person. Everyone's got to be involved and contribute. Um, lately, I haven't had the pressure of, of that, but it's a pressure of keeping the show successful mm -hmm. and as unique and as different as it was the first year and as fresh. Because shows you get bored of and the stories start becoming the same or they start looking the same. And it's always trying to keep it uh, a new angle on things and keep something tuned in because there might be something they haven't seen before. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so. got to keep things fresh and fun. Exactly. <laughs> it's not easy. But, and, and I'm lucky enough because um, besides doing... Our, we don't work every single week. We're not in production every single week. We take hiatus weeks here and there. And I'm fortunate enough to be able to go do other shows on those hiatuses. And that's, that's really nice because it's very invigorating. It's using new muscles again. It's dealing with different actors, different writers, different styles completely. Mm -hmm. And so it really keeps me on my toes on making sure I'm not falling into the rut of doing the same thing every week in and week out. Actors are going to have the same questions. There's going to be the same types of jokes. Mm -hmm. Here, it's it'll be something completely different, a different style, different studio, different sets, and it's it's fun to do. Yeah, is it different or difficult working on maybe a few episodes of a show as opposed to, you know, a whole series? Yeah, very very much so. Early on in my career, um, and because of the uh, the advent of many new shows and new networks, where st the WB was starting out and UPN and you had an influx of a lot of, of new shows happening. Mm -hmm. And directors used to, there would be one director for a show primarily. He would do almost all the shows in the year. Um, then they got away from that, and you would only go in maybe and do three episodes of a show and then on to another show. And you are always proving yourself. Or sometimes you were just coming in to do one episode, and it was all new people. It was all these new things thrown at you. And here you had to kind of prove yourself ingratiate yourself with the cast, make sure the writers understood, make do a good job, mm -hmm. and hopefully get asked back again. And always after that first week, you sit at home and like, oh, I should have done this. Oh, if I would only blocked it this way. If, oh, if I would have shot it this way. And you always question yourself. But it is difficult because you're trying to make an impression and get asked back and do that next episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for being with me today, sure. Mark. That does it for this week's episode of The Entertainment Buzz right here on Wolf TV.